So when I started out in engineering, I was actually a lot more passionate about medicine. I remember in the spring of my freshman year, even though I was studying aerospace engineering at the time, I was binge watching medical shows such as House MD. And all I kept thinking about in those days were the different diseases. And, and I was just totally fascinated by the human body and the different diseases and what goes on and the prognosis and how to diagnose a patient properly, the type of medication, how does that influence the human body? And I actually remember at that time, I even applied to work in a research lab in the neurology department that was essentially studying MRIs of the human brain, which is pretty cool mix of electrical engineering and medicine because it was essentially exerting very strong magnetic fields and seeing how that would impact the human brain and then taking pictures. And that's how most modern imaging is done. It's using magnetic fields. And even though both medicine and engineering are viewed as honorable degrees, to me, in my heart at that time, I knew that medicine was the ultimate degree because you could to directly heal people and directly impact other people. However, unfortunately, this very idealistic picture I had in mind of medicine was shattered when I started shadowing doctors in the United States. And I shadowed doctors from multiple specialties, from oncology to neurology to ophthalmology, my doctors and primary care physicians. And oh my God, that was terrifying. I even shadowed an emergency doctor where I remember one time at four in the morning, the shift started. And first thing I saw when I got there is like some guy's entire body was covered with glass and emergency medicine was insane. And it was honestly after shadowing a lot of these doctors where I started to realize, hold on a second, I don't think this is what I want to do. And this is something that I've been amazing at. This is probably the one thing I'm really good at the one scale I've developed, which is if I want to find out something, I go and do it or I go and talk to the people. I don't just sit and theorize, I go and learn by doing. Because that way you get to see a clear picture of reality and you see what, what you're projecting in your mind and how it actually compares to what's actually happening in the real world. And from talking to a lot of these doctors, I started realizing that actually like medicine in the United States or medical school in the United States, like just did not feel right, just did not sit right with me. Like the four years in medical school is just an exhaustive process of memorizing stuff and like forgetting it essentially the next day and there's not so much emphasis on like critical thinking and problem solving and if there's anything I can't stand is I can't stand just sitting down and memorizing something like I need to think and problem solve that's why I like so ironically why I would end up sticking with engineering but this was a moment in my life where I had to make a career decision based on very realistic metrics where I had option a medical school or medicine where you would finish your four years of bachelor's go to four more years of medical school where you'd like memorize a lot of stuff that you that will probably burn you out and by the time you graduate will make you I don't I don't even know, you probably can't even think anymore. And then I'll probably have to do like three or four more years of residency or specialization since I did not want to, well, everybody has to do that. And then because I wanted to specialize in something like being an ophthalmologist or a neurologist, like because I'm really fascinated by the eyes and the brain, which kind of makes sense that I ended up studying electrical engineering because these are like electrical systems. So you guys, this is why you should start a YouTube channel because you'll be like recording a video and you'll say something and you'll just have like a aha moment of self-awareness. But anyway, so option A was like be in school for like 12 years, be in a lot of debt and start your life in your early 30s, which because I was not very committed to it, I was I was a lot more committed to the idea of it rather than the thing itself. It became very much easier to pursue option B, which is an engineering degree, which is, hey, it's only four years, you're gonna graduate and you're gonna get a job. And if you don't like the job, then who cares? You only spend four years on this degree anyway. And honestly, this is what I love about engineering, especially in the United States. Like uh, it's, it's a four year degree that teaches you how to solve problems and think critically. And if you don't like it, the total investment it was only four years of your life, you know, versus like the 10 plus years in medicine. And I'm so happy I made that decision. And the reason I made the right decision is because I was honest with myself. I told myself, okay, medicine in my head sounds very idealistic and noble. And I was just kind of more fascinated with the idea of it. And then when I went and shadowed real doctors, I realized, okay, no, this is probably not what I want to be doing. I don't think I can commit to this for like 15 plus years of my life. I don't even know what I want to do next week. So then I tried to do like a little compromise where in my third uh, semester in college, I switched to biomedical engineering so I could at least like work on medical things while still being an engineer but then I quickly realized that at my school at least that major was just kind of like a jack of all trades and you can't really get a great job with biomedical engineering at least with a bachelor's degree I don't know maybe if you went to like a really top school you might but I quickly decided okay that's I probably should do something more concrete like mechanical or electrical to build a stronger foundation and electrical was the thing and then I switched to electrical engineering and since then life has been great so the takeaway from the story is if you're stuck between two career options be very honest with yourself and, and ask yourself if one of them takes a lot more commitment and a lot more and will kind of box you in, but you're not ready for that, then I would say it's probably not the right decision to make. So again, learn by doing, take all the information you can, and then follow your gut feeling only once you have taken information in. Because if you follow your gut feeling, but you're like, you haven't talked to anyone or experienced anything or went and experienced anything. Yeah. Like your gut doesn't know. 
Like, but if you go and talk to the people that are doing the thing that you're trying to do and go and see what they're doing and shadow them and observe them. And then at that point, you still like your gut tells you, Hey, this is probably what we should be doing. Then yes, I think that's a good sign to follow your intuition. And it's kind of funny how I was like, so unsure about electrical engineering, but then I ended up doing a bachelor's master's and a PhD in electrical engineering. It's kind of wild. I actually made a video on why I did a PhD in electrical engineering. You can check it out over here.